everyone welcome to ecoholics in this video and in our subsequent videos we'll be studying rules of differentiation these rules of differentiation are very important in economics be it calculation of marginal utility marginal revenue marginal product of labor or capital uh, be it cost minimizing conditions or profit maximizing condition everywhere we use derivatives so let's get started so we have rule 1 polynomial function rule or power function rule now how do we represent a power function or polynomial function so y is equal to f of x which is equal to x raised to n so this represents a power function or polynomial function now the formula or the derivative of power function is nx raised to n minus 1 you just need to remember this formula you don't have to understand how it is derived you just need to memorize or know this formula and know how to apply it right so let's look at this example so we have f of x is equal to x raised to 3 by 2 using that formula that is using this formula y is equal to when y is equal to x raised to n in this case a derivative is nx raised to n minus 1 so using this formula we'll be calculating uh, this now when f of x is equal to x raised to 3 by 2 so what we see is our n in this case is equal to 3 by 2 now substituting n is equal to 3 by 2 in that formula what do we get is dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to so we have n as 3 by 2 now we have x and now n minus 1 so our n is 3 by 2 minus 1 so now what do we get so we have this becomes 3 by 2 x raised to now 3 by 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 by 2 so this becomes our derivative so this is so simple so similarly we'll be seeing other examples as well so we have y is equal to 1 x raised to 9 now here also using the same formula that is it is also in the form of this so using this let's calculate this so in this case y is equal to 1 by x raised to 9 now this can also be written as y is equal to x raised to minus 9 now in this case our n is equal to minus 9 so we have n is equal to minus 9 so dy by dx in this case is equal to minus 9 x raised to minus 9 minus 1 so our dy by dx becomes minus 9 x raised to minus 10 so this becomes a derivative for this question that's it for this video 
in our next video we'll be discussing other rules of differentiation so do like and subscribe our channel thank you